So Booster Gold, this is a TV series that was announced by James Gunn as part of the big chapter run Gods and Monsters uh, slate reveal that he did in late 2022. And Booster Gold as a character is a very popular character amongst the fans of DC and just in comic book fans in general. So we know that this is going to be a series that's still a few years away because we haven't really seen much movement on it in terms of like getting a showrunner attached to it or, or you know, casting the character of Booster Gold. But there were these um, reports. So today I wanted to kind of go through them. And, and John, I wanted to ask you, we were, we were hearing that James Gunn might be writing like Booster Gold, maybe not the whole series, but at least some of the episodes in the series for Booster Gold. He's already got like a lot on his plate, whether it's Superman Legacy, season two of Peacemaker, the fact that he's like the de facto creative, chief creative officer of the DC studios. I mean, he's a co-CEO. He already has a pretty full plate. Like, do you really think he's going to be writing Booster Gold as well? I don't think he's necessarily going to be like show running the show, but I think he's going to maybe write maybe like the first like two or three episodes, sort of like giving that outline, that basis of what the show will be, because he probably has a vision for it because he said he was a huge fan. He loved he loves Booster Gold. He His directing and writing style definitely fit that character. So I think uh, he might be writing the first few, uh, if, if this rumor is correct, I would think he would be writing the first few episodes but he'll be leaving it to another showrunner i know that um jody hill who worked on peacemaker will be directing some of the episodes possibly so um i think uh, i think he'll be doing that i don't think he's going to be like writing the entire season i think he wrote the entire season for peacemaker if i remember correctly he did I, I, yeah um, he did yeah yes so i don't think he's going to be doing that i think he's going to be writing a few episodes be like hey this is what the show is and then hand it off to somebody else because he's got as you said he's the co-ceo of dc studios right now or dc films and he um he's he's, he's got a lot on his plate so i don't think he's going to be doing a lot just like kind of giving us a little taste of i think he wants to do it like this is what i have but i need to do it uh, I, i'm needed elsewhere type of thing so a little bit yeah. if 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 the rumor is true just a little taste and then yeah. leaving it to somebody else no i agree i think you probably are onto something here. There, he might he might write a treatment for it. He might write a couple of episodes, but he's probably not going to be writing the whole show. And certainly, he's probably not going to be the showrunner for it. Uh, of course, uh, this article that we looked at on Greek Geek Tyrant also mentioned a little bit more about you know a, a showrunner potentially coming on board for the Lantern series. You know, who and uh, this. <laughs> I mean, if you if you've worked on Ozark, then you know you. You can work on any DC show and I'll watch. Um, and we did mention this on a, on a previous story on DC Daily, so you can go back and check that out in more detail. But yeah, as far as Booster Gold goes, um, I'm very interested in seeing who they cast as Booster Gold. And if James Gunn is going to write <laughs> you know, a few episodes, you can't go wrong because as far as the superhero genre goes right now, James Gunn is one of the best you know, around as far as writing anything superhero related. You, know, you go off of the Guardians of the Galaxy stuff. He's really not... Even if you look at his credits outside of the superhero genre, he's not done a ton wrong. Um, going back to even Dawn of the Dead, like and you know collaborating with Zack Snyder in, in their early days of their career back uh, in the early 2000s, I think you know, James Gunn is is a fantastic writer. And of course, if he can be trusted to write stuff like The Suicide Squad and Peacemaker and all the Guardians of the Galaxy movies and now Superman Legacy. And, you know, besides, he's he's the boss. He, he's probably just like, you know what? I'm going to write a few episodes of Booster Gold. Like Kevin Feige is like more of a producer. So he really doesn't get involved in the writing as much and all the creative, like, you know, and he, he he's there as a guiding hand. And he's, of course, got all the knowledge in the world about Marvel. But James Gunn is always, you know, going to be a filmmaker, storyteller at heart. So I think we're going to see more of this from him where I think for the for the better, that he's going to ha have his hand in writing every odd episode of a TV series that DC uh, puts out. And then, of course, maybe, you know, uh, he's always going to be involved as a producer, but maybe a little more hands-on than than your average producer might be on the creative side uh, for a lot of the DC movies that he's going to be executive producing. So, guys, let us know in the comments. What do you think? Would you like to see James Gunn write Booster Gold? Maybe some of it, maybe all of it? Um, of course, there's rumors that Chris Pratt might get cast in the role, and 
that, that, that would be interesting for sure. I, I'm, I'm excited to see where this booster goal series goes and how soon we're going to get it, because that's a big question, because right now there's a lot of projects they announced and uh, with the actor strike and the writer strike, a lot of those things I'm sure have been affected because while Superman Legacy continued to, to do pre-production, a lot of these other projects have not made a lot of uh, headway. So let's see how long it's going to take for Booster Gold to come to our screens. But when it does, if James Gunn has written a few episodes, I definitely think that's you know a positive. So let us know in the comments what you think and like and subscribe for more DC content like this.